was a plan to sh to kill the monster. Mr. Speaker, I am not uh, John Michuki, but uh, I will be like John Michuki. I can assure the member that uh, I'll try my best. And Nairobi River Commission used to be under the Minister of Environment. Now it's not under me. It's under uh, the Deputy President. But we need to uh, deal with the Nairobi River Commission. The pollution that is going on in Nairobi River Commission, I mean Nairobi Rivers, because of the dysfunctional uh, sewage system, uh, which needs to be upgraded, the, the dumping sites of Nairobi County, all of them, including Dandora, are on Nairobi and Nairobi Rivers. Uh, so the governor of Nairobi, at some stage, and I hope he will listen to me if I'm appointed, he has to look for other dumping sites outside the Nairobi River Causeway, Rivers Causeway. Uh, uh, so coming to military recruitment, I agree with you, is a systemic issue. And I was watching yesterday, the speaker said, the president himself is concerned. But we have agreed, uh, before I left the Minister of Defense, that going forward, before the next recruitment, we must sit, we must have a conversation. The way the speaker said yesterday, I was watching him, we must communicate candid to the public, and we must deal with that monster. It cannot be a situation where a few people are taken to court martial. Kenyans, in their mind, are saying, for you to join the military, and based on the national security sections, it's supposed to be the face of Kenya. Kenyans, for them to join the military, they must pay between 400 to 500,000. I think that is unacceptable, if more, that's unacceptable, and it's part of the corruption that I was telling you, which is, which is I think all of us together, the citizens themselves, the, 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 the anti-corruption uh, agencies, all of us together, we must face on. Why did I deploy KDF? I did not deploy KDF. The framers of the Constitution put Article 241, 3B, and 3C in the Constitution. So Kenya Defense Forces are in the streets. They're in Boni Forest fighting Al-Shabaab. They're in North Rift making sure that uh, we deal with the banditry. They were in Westgate during the terror attack. They were in Garissa University during the terror attack where we lost many people. So for peace, public order, public safety, where the police are overwhelmed, Article 241 3B kicks in the function of the Minister for Defense. By then me, is once the, 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 the article kicks in, then I am supposed to do certain subsidiary legislation. I gazette. And Mr. Speaker, all of us know Article 132 of the Constitution obligates the president to protect the other arms of government. He is the chair of the National Security Council. That day, the, the Office of the Chief Justice and the Supreme Court as an institution was under threat, under attack. Parliament and the colleagues sitting here, if KDF did not come to assist the other security agents, God forbid, many members of parliament could have died, including our speaker. Parliament could have been burnt. I will not be that irresponsible as a minister of defense with a provision of the constitution provision of the constitution, I use the law. And then the house went further the next morning because it was going on a very long recess. They invoked Article 241.3c. But when LSK went to court, Justice Mugambia, I don't want to discuss more because the matter is still in court, gave orders that I should give and gazette and do a new gazette on the terms of engagement 
on the on 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 how many places and why i said in the 47 places ours was to protect key institution parliament is a symbol of democracy and governance it is a home of the people's representatives Mr. speaker in all my life in parliament people used to come and present petitions and any member of parliament who's outside the, near the gate used to receive and take it to the office of the clerk or the office of the speaker I have never seen where people want to come and ban parliament. So I think I want to thank the framers of the constitution. I participated, the speaker participated, many other members participated. I think it's today and that day, 25th of June, I realize how important Article 241, 3B and C is. Owen. Thank you, Honorable uh, Speaker. I would like to ask a question to the nominee, Honorable Duale. Just one question: that uh, this country envisages to have a nuclear plant in a place called Uyombo in uh, Kilifi County, uh, and uh, without due regard to the environmental issues in question, like uh, the.